Hello everyone, my name is Tamara and welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to go from living up here to all the way down here. With these simple dance exercises that combine mindfulness techniques and body awareness, you will learn how to shift your attention from your head to your body, helping you be more present. In this video, I challenge you to really observe the sensations in your body. Do you feel tingling, tension? Don't judge yourself, just observe. It's the first step to learning how to be more present and enjoy your life fully as it is in the moment. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by reducing tightness in the face. Softly massage your cheeks, mouth, eyes, forehead, and nose. This will increase oxygen levels in the face and help you relax your muscles. Now let's get on to some head rolls. As you do this, follow the movement of your head with your eyes. I want you to actually look at your environment. Observe the objects around you and notice your surroundings. This might sound simple, but taking the time to look at our environment is a great way to shift our attention to the present. Let's move our attention to our shoulders. Much of our worry and stress accumulate on our shoulders as stiffness. As you shift your attention to the whole shoulder area, notice what type of sensation you feel in your shoulders. I often find that when I'm stressed out, my shoulders feel super tense. Focus on your breath as you soften them up. Move your shoulders up and down. As you move down, exhale like this. Really let go. We carry a lot of weight in our shoulders. Brush them from side to side, relieving yourself from some of that baggage. Feel them getting lighter with each brush. Continue the movement from the shoulders and all the way through your arms and hands. Make sure that you feel your arms. Remember, this video is all about bringing your attention from your mind to your body. And feeling each part that is moving is an integral part of this. Move the attention to your hands and give them a good little shake. Now send your focus to your chest. Move your chest in and out. Many of us spend hours in front of the computer or looking down at our phones, which affects our posture. It reduces the blood circulation in the joints and muscles and causes extra stiffness and pain. Let's relieve some of that tightness. Don't forget to breathe. Now, move your chest in different directions. I like imagining that I have a paintbrush in the middle of my chest and that I'm trying to paint a circle in the air. Now let's go to the stomach. Give it a little rub just to wake it up. And now move your stomach in and out. Exhale in and inhale out. 
The stomach is a huge center for all our emotions and sensations. As you move, feel and allow any sensation that is present in your stomach. That can be tingling, butterflies, or even heat. Exaggerate the movement a little bit to really feel. Start rolling your abdominal area. Poor posture also affects our stomach because it squishes our digestive organs. We want to stretch the whole area out. Do whatever feels right. Our goal is to add a bit of flexibility and softness to the stomach. Lean back and let your whole weight dangle. Shake a little bit and then bring it back forward. Inhale back and exhale forward. If you feel any tension, see how you can adapt the movement to make it work for you. This might mean adjusting the intensity or simply breathing more deeply. Starting with your head, curl inwards making a wave with your whole upper body. Move as smoothly as you can and don't forget to breathe. Feel your head, neck, shoulders, chest, arms, hands, stomach, and back. Breathe with each wave. Alright, time for a little improv. Connect to the music and explore movements that specifically engage your upper body. Let yourself go and do not focus on how you look. Have fun! Of course the rest of your body can move. Just make sure that your focus and attention is mostly on your upper body. Now time for the lower body. Bring your attention to your hips. Loosen them up by moving them left and right. Have fun with the moves. Do a little dance with yourself. Feel free to always include your own little variations in these exercises. If a movement feels particularly good, go for it! The more you learn to listen to your body, the more naturally this will come to you. Lightly shake your body, bringing the focus down to your legs. Kick your legs in the air, exhaling with every kick. Get the tension out of there. Now it's really time to let go. Run around the room. Focus your attention on your legs and your feet. If you don't have a lot of space, you can run in place. Let go, shake it out, and keep feeling your legs with every step. 
All right, now for the knees. Bend your legs, feeling your knees with every bend. Our knees can also become rusty, so don't hesitate to go more gently on this one if that feels more comfortable for you. You can turn the intensity up if you feel like going a little bit more energetically. Roll your knees to soften them up. I love the way this movement feels. Last but not least, feet. Bring your attention down towards your feet. Feel your toes and the ground under you. As you go up and down on your toes, imagine that you're pushing down towards the ground with your feet. If you have trouble feeling your feet, wiggle your toes. Bringing the attention to the toes is another very effective way to shift our attention from our minds to our bodies. Push into the ground and feel your weight. Use the ground to give yourself a little massage. Feel your ankles and the soles of your feet and sink in to that feeling. Time to improv. This time, focus on the lower part of your body. This includes your thighs, hips, knees, feet, and everything in between. Again, let yourself get carried away by the sensations in your body. Don't worry about doing nice movements. Whatever you do is good. There are no expectations here. Feel your whole body, and for the last few minutes, let yourself get carried away by a full body improvisation. Connect with the sensations that these movements bring to you. Let your body fully express itself. If you feel like there are some parts of your body that you feel still hold any tension, initiate your movements with these parts. Connect with some emotions that may be arising and use your movements to expand them in your body. Play with the speeds. I tend to dance quite fast, but feel free to go as slow as you want. Pay attention to the music. Let your body be carried away by the rhythm and melody, and don't forget to breathe.
Finish with a few deep breaths. Feel the way your body feels right now and thank yourself for taking some time to be with yourself and your body. Remember, connecting to our bodies is a skill that needs practice. Do this video three times a week for best results. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.